we've made creative use of. two years I've been deconstructing painting and all sorts of things and I wanted to explore the owl. I haven't really mastered the pussycat yet. In fact the pussycat has recently come into my life. I've got a new lady in my life and she's very cat-like and she's become an inspiration which is great. But I'm probably more the owl and I'm trying to understand the mechanics of the owl. How did you go about representing flight? Well I think it's sculpturally because it's it's a sculptural problem and a line problem is, is is if you go like you've got to like try and capture as if you're holding air or you're, ho you're hovering over air so like with that wing the way the wing goes you can probably feel that it feels like there's air there and when I broke made the breakthrough with that material because it like it's very lace like it looks like the air's moving through it I didn't want to Big, I actually made one out of plaster and it looked like a weight a ton and it looked like a big heavy out and it's not going to fly so that's why I started to go to material and I, I went everywhere I went to what he called spotlight and I was looking at all these materials and you know I was pulling apart bits of canvas and I was pulling apart finally I figured it out yeah big portrait upstairs. Can you tell me a bit about that work? Oh, well, that's actually probably the major breakthrough. Because I've done a lot of portraits, I've done a lot of portrait commissions, um, and I've done, uh, like as a professional portrait painter, I know how to paint, I know how to mix colours, blah, 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 blah. But the big struggle that I had all along was I was trying to capture the soul, I wanted to capture the being, I wanted to capture the person themselves. What I decided to do was strip painting down to its basics. So I wanted to get it down to the truth, which what I mean by this is I, I wanted to have only in the work of art that is that was necessary for the communication. Now, so, so instead of having a canvas where I created an illusion on, I decided to use the threads themselves. And I tried to work out how every thread had to have a meaning. So I tried to figure out how to do that. So I started ripping canvas apart, tried, tried to, and eventually I came to the Hessian. And I pulled all the Hessian apart, and then I only left what was necessary to hold the work together. I think you could say I'm a creator. So whatever I want to work with at the time is, is what I'll work with. At the moment, I'm addicted to this, absolutely addicted. Day and night, get up in the morning, I'm in there doing this. I can't stop, I can't stop. I'm even thinking about doing something now. Robert, you did this painting. Could you tell us what's it called, why you did it, and how you went about it? Um, I, well, this one's a oil on canvas. It's called uh, Men Among Men, which is, um, uh, I guess, a line from a, a, a ceremony called the Gnostic Mass. And um, I guess this particular piece was more about sort of rebirth and, um, uh, I guess, drawing together a lot of influences of Gnosticism and, and, uh, and I guess, kind of uh, finding a new... Uh, a new foundation um, as far as rebirth is concerned so um, I've always been a great uh, fan uh, well fan is kind of a strange word I guess a follower and, a, and, a, and a, a real student of Eastern Eastern religions so Buddhism Hinduism and use the still life genre 
to uh, to hint at a, a deeper story. So I guess what I was trying to do is was kind of talk about a certain philosophy or, or even a, a self-portrait of sorts, really, uh, but but uh, but created through the genre of still life. Challenge, and it's it's something when when I find the time to to paint, <laughs> I, um, I I do find it quite a refreshing um, balancing exercise to. Uh, to, to keep me uh, keep me centered, so it's uh, it's becoming probably more of a spiritual practice, I think, than anything else. Painting and art and all of that, which which is a big part of uh, of what I do. So, yeah. Last year was a record uh, year for sales, for art sales internationally. I mean, it's it's actually the doom and gloom is not there. Um, there's certainly speed humps along the way, and this always has been. Um, but I, I dare say, you know, it's uh, there's no reason it shouldn't be a thriving a thriving centre. And um, but what we certainly need is uh, patronage from from collectors and uh, and and the public to uh, to get involved and understand the scene. And if that means collecting work, that's great. Even if it just means um, you know taking an interest, meeting artists seeing the galleries for themselves, uh, getting involved in any ways that, that they can, uh, getting involved with the state gallery institutions, the museums, just really taking an active, an active role in, in supporting chasing that industry once again and, uh, and helping us, um, I guess, refresh and, and move forward. So. We need more galleries in Perth. Uh, we need young young galleries and, and people who are excited by art to uh, to get involved. So that's collectors, artists, uh, curators. Um, I guess the main thing I say is, is support your local galleries. That means you know come come down to the openings, uh, speak to the artists, get a feel for what a gallery and an artist is trying to do. Because at the end of the day, uh, we need public support. We need uh, public excitement to sort of keep us keep us ticking along. So um, uh, yeah, so please enjoy and please support. Not just that, not just our gallery, but uh, every every other gallery in your region. Just help us uh, create a, I, I guess, the rebirth of of the WA scene is uh, is at hand. I show an interest, keen interest in art and uh, expression of all kinds. Um, but uh, yeah, the fine art is something I really like to learn more about. So I thought I'd come along and and have a look. And what a lineup! I always like diversity as well. It's good to see, uh, you know, different styles. Um, different, obviously, uh, paintings and illustrations and, yeah. Well, that brings us to the end of another episode of Gallery Watch. We hope you've enjoyed the program. My name's Alicia Pereira and we'll see you again for another episode next week.